Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to teach you how to set up a spy correctly even if application doesn't create the method right away. In my example, the application is attaching a method to a window object after 10 milliseconds. So it dynamically loads maybe some logging library and creates a method that the application co call later. Now, let's see if we can force this button to create an event. If we click on the button, then the application should say log event action right here. Okay, well, we can find the button with text action and click on it. Now, let's confirm that the log event actually is called correctly. We can get the window object. We get the window in the callback. And we can say spy on the window object and the method name is log event right here. And let's give it an alias log event. Okay, okay, well, notice that we're trying to wrap something that doesn't exist yet because application sets it after a small delay. The easiest way to solve this is to say, okay, yes, you get an object and it should have property log event. And Cypress Sci eats is a query command, it keeps retrying and retrying, checking, and once the log event property is set, then the test continues, and now you can spy on it. There's only one tiny little bit of a problem. Right away, when application sets the log event, it calls it with a message initialized. Now, we don't see it right here. Notice we only see the action when we click on the button. So how come we don't catch the log event initialized? The problem is the synchronous nature of our code. We are setting the log event and immediately call it. So it's hard for us right here because once the log event is set, well, it's already calls the log event initialized right away. And we are set up a spy after that, okay? It's the same event loop. So either replication code runs or the test code runs. And we have synchronous two commands. So checking the property and then getting that property are, you know, before and after that event. Okay, so what can we do? Well, here's the trick. We want to set up our spy during the assignment when the application code is actually setting the log event. So the way we're going to do it is like this. We're going to get the window object, right? So right now we're running before application code loads. We have a window object. And now we can say object define property on a window object log event. And we can describe it using a property descriptor. So we need two things. We need getter and setter. When you get, you return something. And let's return something right here. So we'll say log event fake and right now it's not set right so when someone asks for it we'll just return it and when application is setting it then we have to do the following we can say okay uh, this is a method now this almost works right but instead of just keeping a reference to the method that application is setting right here we want to return our synon spy or stop. So the way we're going to do it is like this. Okay, let me just remove it. I'm going to create a stop using size stop and I'm going to give it a reference or Alice name. Okay. When application passes the real function method, right? We can say stop calls fake method. Okay. So when application is calling window.log event equals something, we get into this setter. We update our stub to actually call what application passed in. That's why you can see it, you know, being called and we can see it um, in the terminal when we run the real console log is called. And now we can confirm that our stub alias log event should have with exactly initialize argument. Okay, so this is how you can spy on the method that your application is creating dynamically. 
and even better you can foresee that method being assigned to a window so that you can catch the assignment and wrap it right there so even if application is calling it right after assignment you already have created a spy and you are notified and you can confirm from your test that it was indeed called so find this recipe in my cypress example website i'm going to link it in the description of this video